Setting a campaign end date may be a rare event. Quite frankly, the only time I actually do this is when I'm trying to get a sponsored video brand ad approved and it's having problems because it's like uh, a run rate during Halloween or Christmas and it meant, you know, it's like a holiday theme or a particular time of year, maybe my Mother's Day gift set. And it's pretty annoying that Amazon makes you set end dates to, to these videos because quite frankly, I, I know for a fact that somebody buys Halloween gear year round. But here we are, and so I had to make this video because my team was actually struggling to get one of my video ads approved. Here is how to set a campaign end date. My name is Stephen Pope, I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and you can do this in multiple locations. Uh, one of the locations is in the campaign settings after a campaign is made. Now, generally speaking, at this point, it won't matter. You've got the campaign end date right here in this section, and you can set it to anything you want. So I've got a Halloween Tumblr creative campaign. I'm going to end that right on Halloween. Now, the stupidest part about this is I was trying to let this run through Halloween until November 1st, and it wouldn't let me. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the stupidest thing ever. So we're trying to tick it and try and get it up and whatnot. But here you can see, you know, all of the, uh, the creative that we have up. Um, we have a banner on the left and a video running right here and uh, Halloween themed keywords, Halloween themed products, you know, no, no doubt about it. Uh, but I was really surprised that I can't run this on November 1st because I'm telling you, I know hundreds of people are still going to buy this cup come November it is what it is. Any case. So this is the first spot. You just go to campaign settings, set the end date right there. The next spot is during the campaign creation. So to get to that spot, we're going to go back to the all campaigns section, hit create campaign. This is a very overlooked section. Uh, I literally only do this for probably two or three reasons. Uh, one, and I've already showed you with the video. Second reason would be if I'm running like a Prime Day deal when I and I wanna use like Prime keywords. And then maybe the third time is just in that Q4 time period and you wanna go, you know, you wanna enjoy Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Just sunset all of the Christmas big campaign spend campaigns to, to have an end date. This is easier to do than to run a template file upload and lower all the bids at that time frame. Um, and you could always just run an end date and then turn them back on Jan 1st. So that's kind of the, the scenarios that I would use it. So right here, you can see start and end date. Um, by default, it shows no end date, but you can set any date you want into the future. I think up to two years into the future. Uh, typically speaking, you don't want to end campaigns. Uh, you know, I've kind of made that point in the inverse so far. So let me say it in the, whatever the opposite of inverse is, the verse, I don't even know. Any case, you, you generally wanna run campaigns without an end date unless you have a reason to end it. Because campaigns can and should last long-term um, and be evergreen for the most part. Now, you got a seasonal product, holiday product, those things can change. But right here, you got the end date and just select it. So, you know, say I wanna go April 10th, 2024, I could stick that in there. Um, obviously, you can't go into the past, um, and you know your daily budget's going to run up until that standpoint. So the last thing I'm going to show you is the ability to see start and end dates in the filters of the campaign manager. So if you go to the basic campaign manager, click on campaigns here. In the column section, you can customize the columns that show up, and you'll see the end date right here. So if we enable that, and I almost never want it enabled, you can see it right there. And then this is the final location where you can change an end date and you can click on the end date date right here and switch it to whatever date you want. I don't like having this on. I don't see a need to have this on, um, <clears throat> but if you're going to use it, here's where I would do it. Uh, I literally only shot this video because my sponsored video products were not getting approved because they didn't have an end date. And that's probably the number one reason you watch this video. If you had these same frustrations, add a comment, let me know, and we'll help you out. Other PPC videos here, watch these next.